Hey guys, Heidi Easley here, Texas Art and Soul, and I teach women how to make money teaching paint parties. And I just wanted to show you this cute little um, bunny box that I'm working on. I am almost done with it, but I just wanted to kind of share what I was doing. So I painted the whole thing ceramic, well, it was already a ceramic. I painted the whole thing gray. And then I have on top, just kind of doing some design. So as you get on, go ahead and tell me hi. Tell me where you're from. I'd love to know where you're from. And if you have ever done a ceramic bunny box yet, these are so cute. So um, I'm gonna start adding some colors here to the design. Um, and I'm just using a liner brush. I'm using Deco Art Seabreeze and Deco Art Royal Fuchsia. So I'm using these two colors to kind of add some more elements to this. Hey guys, welcome. Thank y'all for watching. I'm just gonna be on here for a couple of minutes. Um, I also wanted to say for those of you, actually, I, I like this other brush better. Um, I was gonna say for um, anybody who is not in Paint Party Headquarters, um, so if you're in Paint Party Headquarters, don't worry, I've been filming a video of this, so I'll give you, um, kind of show you step by step how I did it. But those of you that are teaching Paint Parties and you need new designs or you need information on marketing hacks, social media hacks, things like that, that is what Paint Party Headquarters is about. So I put the wait list, um, we're not opening until May, um, Mother's Day, but it's there. So if you wanna go ahead and get on the wait list and it'll give you a free gift. If you check your email, you'll get a free gift. So, hey guys. Oh, watching from work. Okay, yeah, I'll be quiet. <laughs> Puerto Rico, is the weather beautiful there? All I can think of when I think of Puerto Rico is beauty, just beautiful weather. Oh, uh, hello from California. Yeah, and um, so I put some, I put some hearts in his ears. I thought that might be kind of cute. So let me see if y'all can see this. Oh, let me back it up. I'm doing a time lapse up here, so I don't wanna not have it in the time lapse. Can y'all see this okay? Do a heart if you can see. Um, yeah, those of y'all that are watching from work, you should teach paint parties after work. <laughs> How many of y'all teach paint parties after work? Um, I loved, used to, when I worked full-time teaching art, I was an art teacher for 10 years, and I would do like one, two, sometimes even three paint parties at night or on the weekends. And I use that money to pay for like fun trips or summer vacations or whatever it may be. So, um, so if you're at, you know working during the day and you want to do a paint party once a month, that's I think that's a really good goal is to do a paint party once a month. And um, Sharon says waiting for the cold to arrive. I know Sharon. I went to the grocery store this morning. I was thinking, oh, it's not that big of a deal, and then I started. Um, watching the, the weather, like I looked at my app and I was like, oh my goodness. So we have nothing to eat in our house. So I was like, maybe I should go get something. So we have at least two dinners for tonight and tomorrow. So we are prepared for the crazy weather that's coming our way. And um, I know y'all up north are, are laughing your butts off at us because <laughs> you're like, it's just snowing here for weeks and months. And But we're not used to it. Like schools close, it's a whole ordeal especially um, where I'm at, it might be icy. So when there's ice, they close everything. Like we, we won't have school, we won't have anything. So it's definitely not, not good. So yeah, I'm ready to be, ready to be ready. Well, actually I think I have some fire, firewood so we can start our fireplace. I didn't think we were gonna do it again this year because the weather's been so nice, but nope, we're gonna bust out the fireplace again. Okay, so I'm just adding some little details. And this is, again, um, for those of you that are just popping on, um, I teach women how to make money teaching paint parties. And if you click on the link in the description, it's gonna email you a copy of this to kind of get you started on how to, to teach a paint party. Um, and I think just adding fun colors, this is like the other day I did a um, mailbox tutorial and paint parties isn't all about just canvas. You know, it's not just, hey Stephanie, and it's not just about, you know, doing canvas paintings. How many of y'all out there that teach paint parties add other things in 
like wood. Let me know. Do you add wood in? Do you do ceramics? Do you do scrapbooking? Do you do um, Bible journaling? Let me know in the comments how many um, of y'all. Oh, Elba, I miss you too. Oh my gosh, I miss you too, sweetie. Um, let me know in the comments how many of y'all do paint parties, but you don't just do canvas, okay? Because um, a lot of times that's why people will... Um, you know, they'll come to a point where their, their parties aren't going anymore. It's because they're not willing to change. Um, so I had somebody post in, I saw two groups. I saw one post in my group and I saw another post somewhere else. Oh, thank you, Teresa. So um, somebody posted that the big chains, the sip and paint, the painting with the twist, those types of people are starting to do mobile paint parties. And they were freaking out because they said, well, what does that mean for people like us that do mobile paint parties? Like now, how are we going to compete with them? Like, oh my gosh. Well, first off, the big chains have been doing mobile paint parties. They just haven't been advertising it a lot. Secondly, I want to tell you is that the reason they're going to come back to you is because of you and the way you throw a really awesome event. So when you're teaching your paint parties, don't halfway do it. Okay, throw an awesome event so that people want to come back because what will happen is if you do a really good job, then they're going to refer you to a friend and they're going to refer you to something else and then you can do your door price survey and they can actually, you know, say something like, hey, so and so, you know, they'll refer you to other places, to country clubs, to um, neighborhood communities, to maybe even a private party, whatever the case may be. But if you throw an event where you're barely doing anything, you're not helping, yeah, they're gonna probably go to a chain. Yeah, they're probably, it, it will be, you know, the competition will be scary. But what I like to say is stop watching what everybody else is doing and just bring your best, okay? Always bring your best. Um, Janice, great question. After you paint the bunny, do you have to seal it? Because this is a make and take project, so I'm teaching this on Saturday to a group of ladies. Um, some of them chose the bunny, some of them chose the gnome, which I still have to paint. Um, and then I got this just because I want to. I thought it was so cute, so I'm gonna paint this too um, later. And it has a tea light, which I thought that was really cute. Um, but what I found is that um, because it's already bisque wear, which means it's been fired once, and because you're doing a make and take class where you want people to take this with you, I have been using a um, Mod Podge. So you let it dry all the way, and then you just put a coat of Mod Podge, or if you're in a place where you can take it outside, you can have just a quick spray sealer, um, and it makes it shiny, and it makes it look like it has been fired in a kiln. It's the coolest thing. So I did a ton of these ceramic parties um, back in the, the Christmas, like, you know, September, October, November, December time. Um, and so my customers have really been wanting some more of this. So I'm doing some more of these starting this year, but with some fun spring designs too. Let me know if y'all have any questions. Um, Sherry says, I've done hand knit chunky yarn afghans. Oh, I saw those. Ceramics and wine glasses had a party with four ceramic Christmas trees last Saturday. You know, it's so funny. People are like, when should you do Christmas paint parties? When anybody hires you to do a Christmas paint party. I pretty much from all of July, because I do Christmas and July paint parties, all of um, September, October, November, December is literally Christmas sprinkled in with a few pumpkins. Literally, like that's what it's been doing every time. And um, so the trend now with Christmas just being so big and so celebrated and, um, you know, you'll see in the stores, like I start offering my Christmas stuff as early as August and you'll find too, especially if you do paint parties where you might, let's say you have an office, you know, that does a paint party with you every year. It's like a tradition. I have a, a really awesome place that does that with me every year. And um, they'll book way early you know they'll book for their like early december party but they'll book it several months in advance because they know that you know there's certain times when um you know it's busier and not busy or whatever so it's kind of cool that christmas i don't know i just i love christmas paint parties they are so so much they're so so much fun and um, 
and it kind of feels like you get to go to all the fun paint parties. <laughs> Isn't that cool to be able to go to all the fun paint parties? So all the fun Christmas parties, I guess I should say. There's always good food, all of that. But there's something too to say about spring parties. So right now, even though it is the beginning of February, um, we should all be thinking about spring, about flowers, when it comes to offering your paint party. So if you're trying to offer something for Valentine's Day, you are too late. You have to be a couple of months ahead. So everything I've been doing lately has been bunnies, flowers, pretty much all of that good stuff. So those of y'all that are just joining, I just wanted to share with y'all just a little um, technique um, of how to, oh, I missed part of my, my bunny's butt. That's not good, hold on. I just wanted to share a little technique on the ceramic bunny um, and how in Paint Party Headquarters, don't worry if you're watching, I filmed the first part of this, so I'll make sure to post it into our Paint Party Headquarters group. And then any of y'all that are watching and you're thinking about teaching paint parties, um, I'll have this painted ahead of time, but when I teach my paint party, I actually won't paint it in person with them. I'll share the example and I'll give them, you know, the steps and I'll kind of show them randomly. Like I'll say, hey, can I borrow yours? And I'll show them a little bit. But for the most part, um, I'm walking around helping the whole time. So a lot of times we get nervous. We think we have to be like this massively awesome, crazy artist. And it's just not true. Um, you obviously want to be able to paint what you can paint, right? But you, um, you don't have to be this massively artist like up there proving yourself that, oh my gosh, I can do, you know, so much better than blah, blah. Like that's not what it's about. It's about creating an environment where people can have some fun. So if you're interested in trying to teach a paint party, wanting to teach a paint party, go ahead and click the link in the description and you can get this ebook and um, it's going to get you started on your first one. So, oh, Aletha is like, I got a live, yay. <laughs> so there's a post that says, and everybody's been asking me if it's a spam or not. Thank you, by the way, for bringing it to my attention. There is a post that I sent out to ask for your phone number. So if you want to know... I should have used it for this one. Wanted to know if um, I go live if you want to know. So if you scroll down my text a certain soul, you'll see a picture of me and it'll say, let's text. And so if you put your phone number in, the um, not in the post, but you know, say yes, and it's gonna send you like an auto bot. And in that auto bot, you can put your phone number, but make sure, make sure that you do it the way that they've asked. Because if you do it the way they ask, then it's going to send you live updates whenever I go live. So then you don't miss it. All right, guys. I hope you all have a great day. I hope you've enjoyed this. And I'll see you next time. If you want to know more about paint parties, click on the link in the description and you can learn more. Bye, guys.